one shot You lose the love and respect, that's where the trust stop New work, top drop I roll up every 15 minutes like a bus stop And you can smell the sound smoking when I burn out And you can catch me riding dirty but my car not It's love and loyalty into my heart lock Never turn your back, won't know how it turned out I said it once, I do it again I'm playing the game, I do it to win With you and your friend that's thinking thin It's me and my team, you know we gon' win You know we gon' ball, you know we gon' rise to the woods Fall off, you know we gon' stick to the goal We can think of our job I feel like the sky is falling down Ain't nobody here to play around Push it to the edge, I won't back down Cause it's time to go hard and go One way What you've been hearing is not another song to another Fast and Furious movie which was released earlier this summer from which the song is from but for a different kind of theory that was released uh, this year and that's the AMD Radeon R9 theory uh, for which this video is going to be about. Now the reason I wanted to do this video is because um, I have not been able to find that many crossfire benchmarks for the Radeon R9 theory over the web and I thought this would be a perfect video to showcase how good the Radeon R9 Fury is in Crossfire and uh, how it actually beats the 980 Ti SLI uh, which I'll show you later on um, but first um, I'm just going to uh, briefly go over some of the specs of the uh, Radeon R9 Fury um, basically what this is is a cut down Fury X it has 3584 2584 stream processors, um, slightly less texture units at 224, and it has the same uh, number of ROPs. And the only difference is that the uh, boost clock is boost clock is less than 50 megahertz compared to the Fury X. Now let's uh, start off with the uh, benchmarks. So first half, uh, we have Battlefield 4 at uh, 3840 by 2960, and as you can see, it's uh, um, at least five frames ahead of the GTX 980. Now, so I want to make a note that this has been these benchmarks have been cut down to remove all the other benchmarks, just to include the Fury and the 980, and as well as the older 9 uh, 290x 290x and and this is from Adam Tech, and the my Crossfire benchmarks are from PC World actually. So just so you know, if you want to reference it, now at uh, 1440p we see the R9 Fury um, is ahead of the uh, 980 by about uh, three frames, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, next we have uh, Crisis 3 at 3840 by 2160 and is also edging the GTX 985 by 5 frames and going over to 1440p uh, you start to see um, Fury start to flex his mu muscle by beating the GTX 980 by 6 frames and in Grand Theft Auto 5 at 3840 by 2160 you see the uh, the Tri X R9 Fury beating the GTX 980 by uh, three frames. Now the Sapphire Tri X9 R9 Fury, as well as the Asus Trix, are the only two available Fury graphics cards you could buy. Just so you know, and the Tri X R9 Fury does come OC, and Adam Tech just uh, reduced the clock speed to the reference clock speed that AMD. Uh, provided and now going over to 1440p in Grand Theft Auto 5 we see the GTX 980 lose to the R9 Fury by two frames next we have Shadow of Motor at uh, 3840 by 2160 is starting to beat uh, the GTX 90 by one of its largest uh, frames and that's about about 10 frames which is pretty significant and at 1440p um, it even beats it by a significant larger frame around uh, 15 frames now and in tech according to them they have the R9 Fury beating 
the GTX 980 by 8 to 14 percent depending on the game so for fifty dollars more you almost get double digit percentage performance increase now next we're going to be now moving over to the crossfire benchmarks and this is where things start to get interesting uh, in shadow of motor at 1440p you start to see um, the GTX 980 Ti on average frames starting to it lost to the Free X to Crossfire by 11 frames, which is very impressive and pretty surprising. And it beats the regular GTX 980 by uh, 27 frames, so that's a significant jump. Moving over to 4K in Shadow of Motor, we start to see. The 980 Ti uh, lose to the Fury Crossfire by six frames, and and with the GTX 980, you start to see it bit. Uh, it the GTX 980 is losing by almost 20 frames, which is a significant margin. In uh, Metro last night, here actually the GTX 980 Ti actually wins by um, 9 frames while the uh, GTX 9 the regular GTX 980 loses by 8 frames so the GTX 980 Ti actually loses wins by uh, 9 frames but you have to remember the GTX 980 Ti cost 650 so together two of them would cost you $1300 while uh, two uh, Furies at 550 each is going to cost you $1,100, so that's $200 less than the 980 Ti. So you'd save significant amount of money, and I really don't think it's worth the extra nine frames. And going over to 4K, um, you see the Fury starting to um, close the gap. Those uh, those large. Uh, bit bus that the Fury hack <coughs> that the Fury has uh, is, tr is really starting to flex this muscle the memory bandwidth bus of 4096 bit at higher bandwidths you start to see that the 980 Ti and the Fury regular Fury is going toe to toe at uh, 62 frames uh, per second and which is actually pretty good and uh, if you are indeed planning to get, uh, do Crossfire 4K with uh, the regular Fury Crossfire would be a very good choice instead of going the 980 Ti if you could save that $200 and uh, last but not least we have Tomb Raider in here the Fury Crossfire uh, goes on top at le uh, on terms of minimum average frames actually it, it ties and it loses to the uh, uh, 980 Ti SLI by 8 frames which is not that bad but once you get back to 4k again those 4096 bit bus bit bus starts to uh, flex this muscle and again the Tomb Raider in Tomb Raider the Fury X crossfire it takes over and beats the 980 Ti in SLI, 980 Ti SLI by three frames, and as well as in minimum frames. So overall, you can see that the 980 Ti SLI is actually losing to the Fury X Crossfire, um, with the exception of maybe one game. And that's actually pretty good news for AMD. That means that for $200 less, they are going toe to toe with the 980 Ti SLI or even beating it and so kudos to the AMD driver teams they've done an excellent job in uh, scaling Crossfire and uh, last but not least I want to show you the GPU temperature on uh, low GPU temperature in Crisis 3 and it's actually less than the GTX 980 which is at 80 degrees Celsius <coughs> while the um, the reference Sapphire Tri-X gets 75 and the Asus Trix R9 Fury gets actually less 71 so AMD did a very smart move by having their add-in board partners um, um, have their add-in board partners use their coolers 
instead of designing their own. So um, in summary, I would say this is an excellent GPU. Um, if you're on if you're in the market for a $500 GPU, there's no reason to get the GTX 980, but because in some benches is beating the uh, the R9 Fury is beating the GTX 980 by almost 20 frames. And like I said, Anantech had it about 8 to 14 percent difference between the GTX 980 and the R9 Fury. Now, if you're not in the market for a $500 graphics card, I would recommend you look at my other video where, you, where I have the R9 390X going against the GTX 980 and you'd see that the R9 390X is sometimes beating the GTX 980 or tying it or barely losing to it and that GPU costs seven dollars less than the GTX 980 and if you want to save even more you could get the 8 GB R9 290X and overclock it to the R9 390X specs and you will save hundred dollars so that's even a better deal if you could find the R9 290X 8 GB on Newegg so take a look at that other video if you're not interested you know buying a five hundred dollar graphics card at this point getting the GTX 980 would be actually useless and would be a waste of your money if you have more you could just spend uh, the extra fifty dollars more to get the R9 Fury and uh, that will give you a significant boost in performance up to double digit and I would definitely recommend this and since it has the high bandwidth memory technology which is an awesome piece of technology which is going to be based with this technology next generation graphics card is going to be based on this technology going forward from now on so and it has a very large bus at 4096 bit bus which is significantly uh, larger than what the 980 or the 980 Ti has so uh, in graphics in high resolution that bus is going to come into effect as you can see at 4K is beating the 980 Ti or going toe to toe with it and as I'm assuming uh, as the drivers improve um, which it should um, you're going to see Fury do much well and probably might be even be beating the 980 Ti more in uh, lower resolutions uh, so I hope you have enjoyed this video I hope this has been informative um, if you like this video feel free to like it uh, and subscribe to our channel um, thanks for viewing and have a great day